Hello everyone, this is Ryoko368 and welcome to the Fanfic Critic Vlog. You're probably wondering why I'm doing the Susan voice. Well, it's um because I can't find my glasses and I'm just too lazy to go and find them. And yes, do forgive the hair, but it's one of those hair days. It's It's been snowing like crazy in my area. I've had to shovel like a lot in the past week, you know, we've been getting a lot of snow and whatnot. So my hair's very messy from constantly going outside and having my hood on while I'm shoveling and whatnot. So um that's why my hair the way it that's why my hair is the way it is. Um so today's fanfic is called The Hylian Crusade. Um we're gonna be doing this in two parts. So we're gonna be doing the first part in this one and then the next part will be the next video, which I'll probably be uploading back to back to this. This is a requested fanfic that I'm fulfilling for a fan of mine from the old web show and whatnot. Which is another reason why I'm doing the Susan voice, so I hope you do enjoy. Oh, here comes Rorschach. Hey, Rorschach. Hey, honey. You want to come up? Come up. You want to come up? Hi. You want to say hello? I'm doing my vlog. You want to come up? I'm doing my vlog. No? You don't want to come up? No? Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. You can't say it and try. I was going to do a, a whole thing with the Sweeney Todd thing. I was going to say, oh, yes, I know my head looks like I wrote out of a Tim Burton movie. And then I was going to, like, pop on this wig and, like, quote something from the Sweeney Todd movie. But I ended up failing in, I guess, so that's why that didn't happen. But that's why this is a vlog. Because, you know, with a vlog, it's just all, it's fun. It's natural. It's not an act, you know. Oh, I'm actually doing pretty decent with the voice. I, I did read my TV trips, and apparently someone who added to it did not like the Susan voice. But, well, sorry, but I believe you're in the minority. I know it's not perfect. I know it's not perfect, but it's come a long way. You have to at least give it that. At least it's more consistent. I mean, look at how it was, like, back in the early years, like, when... Susan was the sequel critic. She didn't even have a name then. It was so stupid. It was so blah. But that was great because when I had um, Archangel Assassin and Susan do the next top 10 fanfic critic freakouts and um, Archangel Assassin did a top 10 Susan freakouts at the end, that, that was pretty good. And they poked fun at the whole voice thing. I had it be the excuse of that she was trying to sound American. So it kind of is believable. It, it, I explain it in a way where it's not a plot hole, you know what I mean? And then Susan eventually goes back into a native accent, which everyone prefers the native accent because it's more genuine, even though it does kind of sound Australian at times and sometimes Scottish. But you can assume that Susan has some Scottish in her. I mean, it makes sense. That's all around the same areas. Maybe she's kind of like a middle ground where she lives in an in-between area. You know, like my natural voice is a New England accent. It's not quite a Boston accent, but it can sound Boston at times, I will admit. I do slip into it sometimes, especially when I'm heated. But I digress. Let's get on with this. Um, <clears throat> I do apologize. So, the Hylian, the, High, the Hylian Crusade. The Hylian Crusade by Culling Chateaus. Interesting. Author's note. This is a crossover between A Link to the Past... From the, for the Super Nintendo and its Sega counterpart, Crusader of Senti. It, you forgot to capitalize the I in it. Yes, we're doing this very old school, so forgive me. No editing with little screen caps. Sorry, it's not that sophisticated. This is the best you're going to get. It takes place six years after A Link to the Past and incorporates elements of BZ Zelda Ancient Stone Tablets. Okay, I don't know a thing about Zelda, so I'm going to be very ignorant. Forgive me. I'll try not to be, but it is what it is. Standing at the temple of Solil, I probably said that wrong, the young warrior stood smiling, his task complete, and the people were saved. Kneeling before the altar, his left knee touched the ground, his right arm to his chest with a fist. My lord of Seal... Creator of this world and emperor of the heavens, at last, why is the A in at last capitalized? That's not a beginning of a sentence, it's separated by a comma. Typos. Grammar. Watch out for both. My duties fulfilled, and I, Corona, your humble crusader of history, have restored the peace to that which is yours. 
Slowly, a beam of light. Why you see, Ellen, light capitalized is not necessary. Descended upon the warrior, and the altar he stood upon before a voice powerful, steady spoke. Okay, this. Okay. I'll try not to get too over the top about the grammar. I'll just say one more thing about it. If the author is watching me read this, please go back and fix the typos and stuff that I point out. I'll try not to be mean about it because I don't want to be like the web show. So if I kind of slip into that, I do apologize. Just don't take it personally. Thank you for understanding. Okay. Well done, Corona. Because of you, my domain is once more aware of the benevolence their God bestows to those who are loyal to his will. As he spoke, a ripple of power filled the air, and bright light blinded his vision as he was transported. Who the fleck is he from the cavern where the gate stood back to Solil Sol City? Corona found himself back in Solil in Sol Sol eh, City. Yes, you just said that. The statue of the hero replaced by the statue of the goddess. He wandered. Okay, he. they wrote wandered, but it's supposed to say wandered. You know, wandered. W-A- Wandered? Yeah. W-A-D- uh, oh, Whatever. Either way, he's using the wrong version of it. He wandered around his peaceful city for hours. He became home to see his mo He came home. Sorry, that was me, not the fanfic. He came home to see his mom and, to his surprise, his dad, who, in this future, never died in the wars between the humans and the monsters. Alice met him and Corona slept, uh, swept Alice into his arms. I always wanted to tell you, Corona... I love you. I know, Alice. Our world will stay just like this. Happy, peaceful, and we can live out the rest of our days here in peace, Corona answered. Four years later, nice spacing there. Just as Corona and Alice were getting married, buying a house, and getting ready for their normal life as Denzians of the world of Sulil, Corona felt a sharp pain in his mind and had visions. He was being inquired and commanded by the Creator to fulfill a task. He found his holy sword in his hand, and his animal spirits among him once again. One night, Corona fell over and had a dream about the gate. He had sealed four years prior under the lake. The Creator seemed to have a task for him. He woke up with the concerned Alice standing over him. Corona, you passed out. Are you all right? I'm fine, said Corona. You need to have them separated into separate paragraphs. So his line, I'm fine, said Corona, would be its own separate paragraph. Please fix this. The creator has given me a task. I had a vision of the gate. The gate? Alice asked. The gate is a large stone gate. That leads to the underworld where monsters dwell. Corona explained. Why would the creator and the goddess want you to go to a world filled with monsters? Alice asked. The goddess? That's right. In this vision of our history, the goddess of peace and understanding has returned to the creator's side. You act as if she wasn't always, but the statue of the creator and the goddess in the temple, Alice said. What? That made no sense. Whatever. Listen, we have to postpone our wedding a little while until I return, Corona requested. Postpone? We're already married, Alice said. Said, asked, said, asked. Boring. That's right. Listen, I will have to make sure of something, Corona said. Corona <laughs> checked the temple to see nothing had changed, and just as he suspected, the blank-faced statues depicting the creator and his wife side by side stood tall in the temple. The head of the temple said to him, Are you on a long journey? 
Don't ask, that voice was just awful. No, just a short one, said Corona. Whether short or long, go and do the work of the creator put before you, he continued. I will, okay. Where's the other quotation mark? You need another quotation mark to finish that because now it's just a run-on quotation that goes on forever and ever and ever. Said Corona. Whether short or long. Go oh, wait. Never mind. I already read that part. I will. <clears throat> I will. Replied Corona as he headed off for the lake. The catacombs under the lake were a frightening nightmare. So many sharp jagged rocks and deep chasms. He wondered how he ever navigated this way to the gate last time. When he reached the gate, he extra spacing there. He did find it unsealed. Oh, wonderful. He wondered who could have tampered with the gate after defeating the spirit energy. Why is that capitalized? As he stepped to reseal the gate, the gate was flung open and he was pulled through. Okay. Corona awoke in an unfamiliar land. He stood up and made his way forward. If this was the underworld of C.U. Solil, it certainly didn't look it. Corona makes his way to a village. Fado, a young girl, drops down out of the tree she's climbing and smiled. Oh, who are you? Corona looked at her oddly. You are a human. What are humans doing in the world of monsters? Fado cocked her head to the side. What are monsters? I don't know what you're talking about. More bad quotation marks there. They need to be fixed. Corona, hold on a minute. Sorry, I thought I had the cat. Corona started walking again. I, to find the gate, I need to find the gate back to my world in Solil City. Fado paused. Did you get hit on the head? There's no, there's no such place. Corona considered. Not here. I'm not in the right world. This is not the world Mother Monster described to me. Fado looked, looks at him weirdly. Maybe you should go see the other Saharshara? I said that wrong, I'm sorry. Corona thought gathering information about this world would be good, so he agreed. Sure, take me to see him. Fado nodded and brings him along to the centra central square. Corona greeted the elder. I'm Corona of Solil. The elder looked at him oddly. Hmm, there's no place named Solil in this world. Corona rubbed his forehead. I know, when the gate opened, where all the monsters were pulled back into their own world, I got sucked in. The elder sat at a loss and said, You are speaking of unknown things, but your sword speaks of adventure. Corona showed his sword to the stra to showed his sword of strange markings and said, This is the holy sword given by the king, blessed by the creator. Elder then asked Corona, Which king, pray tell? King Raphesia, he answered. Elder shook his head, And we have never had a king of that name. You are from another world, aren't you? Corona replied, Yes, I opened the gate to push the invading monsters from the other side back to their own world to end the crusade of history. Elder looked him over. If you weren't so scarred up, I wouldn't believe you. So, a world where monsters and humans are separate. Oh, oops, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going back to my normal voice. I can't keep the accent. <laughs> Sorry. So, a world where monsters and humans are separated. The Elder sighed. I wonder if we could achieve that here. Every few years, a few are killed by monsters, and we all live in fear of the evil Ganon. Ga Ganon? Corona asked. Yes, an evil tyrant warped by the Triforce of the Goddess into a hideous pig monster, explained by the Elder. Cursed to be a pig monster... Sounds like a punishment the creator would inflict upon a man who attempted to steal and warp the holy power for his own nefarious deeds. Cursed to be a pig... Oh, oh, 
You're from a world that has an evil god, I see, said the elder. The creator is far from evil. He is very merciful. He gave me back my father. I didn't know if the gate could take us anywhere else besides the underworld of Solil. Elder sighed. You are very likely not in either your world or the world of monsters. Corona pondered. Perhaps the creator has a presence here. Your god? I hope not, said the elder. If the god does have a presence here, I'll ask him to send us back. Just as I asked him to return the gift on... The gift on language to the entire world. The elder looked at him weirdly. Your world, I'm guessing. Yes. Are there temples here? Corona asked. There are, yes. Large, confusing ones, assured the elder. That's a start. Any to the creator, any creator, where I can speak with the creator of this world. The three goddesses left this world long ago. Corona cocked an eye. Three goddesses? Yes. Courage, power, and wisdom. Then I am trapped here. I'll never see my family. Alice, my mother. The elder patted his shoulder. I'm sorry, lad. This village will be happy to take you in, though. Corona renewed his resolve. I'm not ready to give up yet. Where is the king of this land? In the castle? The elder eyes him as if he, as if he's a little slow. Corona pointed to the northwest. You mean the castle over yonder? Elder only, elder only won around for several days' journey. What? Okay. Fix that. Corona nodded. Very well. I'll return if I find nothing useful. All right, let's pause for a quick sec just to take a quick drink. I'm not going to bother pausing the footage for that. It's just me drinking. Soda, not alcohol. I don't drink alcohol anymore. Corona walked to Hyrule Castle but stopped at the gate. Captain Malin, a high... Hylian guard eyed Fado. Fado started babbling like a little girl. Um, he says he's from another world and he fought all the monsters and solved and shoved them in a gate only he got sucked into and he's here and yeah, Corona. Malin asked, So Leo, that name isn't familiar. Fado, are you telling tales again? Corona frowned. No, I'm here to speak with the king and have communion with the creator and find a way back through the gate. Let me just take you to see Princess Zelda, but I will have to relieve you of your sword, good sir. Malin reached to remove the sword and gave it, and it gave her a shock. Ow, Malin remarked. The holy sword I carry will only permit one blessed by the gods to wield it, said Corona. Malin summoned two more guards to escort Corona to the castle. Princess Zelda emerged a short time later. I'm Corona, crusader of history and defender of the good reputation of the Holy Father and Holy Mother. My name is Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. I am the regent of the royal family. My father is weak from his ordeal with Ganon and not competent to rule. I handle day-to-day -day affairs of the kingdom. I have no time to deal with some powerless princess. I was sent here by our great creator on a mission to purge evil. So stand aside, woman. Wow, what a sexist piece of crap this Corona is. Corona moved to shove Zelda aside. Upon putting his hands on Zelda, guards approached. Guards! Zelda screamed for the castle guards. Yes, princess. The guards said as they rushed into the room. He put his hands on me. Take this lunatic and lock him in the dungeon until I figure out what in the world is going on and where this Deku nut came from. The guard seized Corona's sword and dragged him under protest to the dungeon. Zelda looked to a female sentry named Malin and said, Go summon Link. I think Ganon may be trying something. Link was roused from his bed by Malin the sentry. What is it? My apologies, Link. A development has occurred. You must come to the castle dungeon to interrogate a prisoner. A prisoner? What? Why? Link asked. Link got dressed and was escorted by the guard to the dungeon. What's going on? And I say, hey, yeah, yeah, hey. Okay, sorry. This man was brought to us from a village. He claims to be from some other world ruled by a deity called the Creator that robbed humans of the ability to speak. He also said he can speak to animals and monsters, Zelda started to explain. Let me ask him, Link said. Corona of Solil, I am chosen to be the crusader of history by the creator, Corona said. Zelda, you keep speaking of a single creator as if there is one. 
there are three goddesses of this world. You saw them you saw their emblems on the way here. Corona, I do feel a presence similar to the creator and the five senses. Allow me to explain. Zelda nods. That would be the Triforce. Link then taps Zelda on the shoulders. Look at his ears. Aren't they strange? Very rounded. I never noticed before, Z said Zelda. It is said that Hylians have pointed ears to be able to hear the voices of the Golden Goddesses. If he does not follow the Golden Goddesses, perhaps his people lack the ears because of it. Corona pulled out a book. He opened to a passage in the beginning. Our holy parents descended from the heavens to the world of Solil and saw the world covered in darkness without light. The father, displeased with what he saw, spent a single sent a single a signal that there would be a change in the world, a separation of the light from the darkness, and the world of Solil would set would be set on its intended destiny. Corona tells the tale of the crusade of history, how monsters from another world came to their world through the gate. Armies of humans drove them back into caves. The great mother dragon, leader of the monsters, and her many dragon children loved and thrived in the darkness, and when the gods saw that the children of the mother dragon were filling the world, he commanded they retreat back into the darkness, and when they did not comply, our holy mother and our holy father struck the world with a great beam of light and anger. Many of the monsters, with no resistance to the light, perished, and the mother dragon and her children retreated through the gate back into the dark world. Corona f finished reading. Uh, with how this fanfic is laid out, it makes it very hard to read. Zelda crossed her arms. Fascinating. Your creator seems singularity, uh, singularly unaware of its own role in all of this, though. This doesn't sound like Ganon, Zelda replied. It doesn't? He robbed all the humans of the ability to speak for, for a month, Link answered. Something of that scale is beyond Ganon's power. Zelda asked, who created humans? The creator and his wife did, but typo there. Wife did is supposed to be two words, not one. <clears throat> but on both of the monster side and our side, the creator has made himself known to us. Sometimes they take many forms not so easy to recognize. Corona replied, the creator must be here too. Zelda snarled, your creator sounds like a demon. Not to put too fine a point on it, I am not ruling out that Ganon created you. Your title of Crusader of History is very similar to Link's, to Link's title, Hero of Time. Can you tell me what the creator looks like? Zelda asked. The creator only spoke to me directly once, in the Palace of Peace. He was a light and nothing else, Corona replied. Now you must free me. Zelda crossed her arms. You haven't thought much about this, I see. I have the power to keep you locked up down here for as long as it takes to find out what's going on. Corona pleased. What? What the hell does Corona pleased mean? Where do you go to have communion with your goddess? I'm sure they can vouch for me. Zelda responded, we aren't letting you anywhere near the Triforce. But there is a sanctuary to the west. We may let you go there. Perhaps the Triforce would reveal to you how to send you home. Excuse me! Don't go scratching the woodwork, you naughty cat! Sorry about that. Corona acted as if he heard that. The gate I just emerged from? A bright light flew across the sky. It landed in the courtyard and became a giant in white robe, standing about ten feet tall. Link ran to a dungeon window. That is the creator of your world? Corona said, I have never seen him in this form before, but I recognize the voice. Mortals, you will let... Mortals, you will tell me where my crusader is immediately. Guards rushed out to confront the giant. Hmm. The giant sneered. Link panicked. Let him out of there. If we don't turn him over, he will kill us. Zelda seemed shocked. What? I don't know what that thing is, but if we turn over his crusader, he'll leave us alone. Link starts unlocking the cell. Come on, I don't want things to get out of hand. I'll, gi I'll give you over to him. You said you 
You said your coming here was a mistake, so you can go back to where you came from. A few minutes later, Link and Zelda come out with Corona in tow, Cor Corona being dragged by the arm. Does this one belong to you? The giant smiled. I am very pleased to see these people did you no harm, Corona. I'm sorry, I must a as I think they meant to say ask. I must I must ask if you are the crea the the creator. Corona inquired. Yes, I chose this form to exist among mortals for a short time. Was I not meant to come to Dark Soleil and discover why the gate was tampered with? Corona asked his liege. You are supposed to be here, just I didn't anticipate that the uneducated here would throw you in prison immediately. The gate was tampered with from here. After all, the giant continued, Link and Zelda seem to be such good people. How do you know our names? asked Link. I am a god. The moment I set foot in your world, I knew everything about you, answered the Soleil creator. You must do my bidding is to find the culprit, eliminate it, commanded the Soleil de deity. Link stood up and confronted the Soleil creator. All right, Ganon, this is ceasing to be amusing. The creator looked to Link, eyes on him with little reaction. As he spoke, his tone harboring both power and contempt as he said, Young one, your mind is obviously unable to see that I am not one whose power is left under a foolish being you call Ganon. I am beyond the triflings of such a petty beast, as is my power beyond your ability to understand, young fool. Link looked to Corona and thought a moment. His hand on his sword beginning to feel war and sweaty as the creator said, Stand, my crusader. He is but an unenlightened warrior who is unaware of how his folly can be his undoing. You see, this is why I must bring my power here and show this world that Solil is how all should be and shall be. But for now, he is forgiven. Lest the the sisters feel their hero is wronged. He could sense the eyes of the goddesses, knowing their protection over the hero of time was strong. Creator, I must ask about the gate. Before I came here, I had a dream that the gate was opening. Is all my work for the crusade of history being brought to an end? Are things returning to the way they were because the gate was opened? Corona was worried about losing Alice, his mother, his father, and his peaceful life since the creator's wife returned to his side. Shaking his head, he said, No, my servant. The, ga the gate has simply shown us a world that needs... Holy crap, how long is this story? How long has this been going on for? Oh my god, this is already a half an hour long? Um, okay, unfortunately, I didn't realize this story was this long, so, um, gonna have to stop it right here. So, I won't be doing a second part for this, I do apologize, but I think I've read enough of it to get a decent opinion of it. Um, the story itself is pretty good, it's just the layout... The spelling and the grammar is what's really taking me out of the story right now. You know, you need to fix all those. You need to be better about your spacing. You know, use actual paragraphs. Um, fix all the weird quotation mark issues that you had and some of the typos that you had. Because if you fixed all that, the story would be pretty decent. Um... Didn't realize it was that long, though, but like I said before, I am going to have a limit on how long the fanfics are going to be. And this one, you know, I'm a half hour in and I'm not even halfway done with the first part of this. This is going to be way too long to read on the show, but I do apologize, but it is what it is. But I do recommend uh, people who are watching this, if you're interested in reading the rest of this fanfic, the link will be in the video below. I'll have the link to both parts. So, um, if you want to read it for yourselves, feel free to, and be sure to give the author your own feedback. All right, well, thank you for watching. Sorry that the British accent thing failed, but eh, it is what it is. Uh, so, um, see you guys in the next video. Have a safe winter.